charges up again. Right arm over the wicket, and Hilton Cartwright is edging behind the wicket on the second ball of the morning. He's been caught by Doran. Peter Siddle will start up uh, the beginning of this end at the Lily Marsh stand. It's over pitch and driven down the ground for four by Sean Marsh. Right arm over the wicket, and Marsh is edging this time through the slip score, and just where probably third or fourth slip would have been. There was two slips in a gully. Philippi down over the bat again. He, he's edging behind the wicket this time, and Riley Meredith struck. Comes past the umpire. It's on full and driven strongly through the covers. There is a sweeper point out there, but no chance around the wicket, maybe for that reason. He's driven into taking the outside edge. It's another wicket to Tasmania. It's a huge one. Sean Marsh, he tried to drive a ball that wasn't quite full enough. Comes in again now. This one is cut, cut really well from Darcy Short. What a way to get his scoring underway around the wicket. The sun's coming through and he's bowled him. This leave from Darcy Short. There's only, what, one good leave and there's a bad leave. This one was a bad leave. A very short break and on the return, Jack Crawshaw to join you. In position, Siddle runs up from the members end and Short and cut away through the cover area by Jai Richardson and it's a boundary. Hander faces Bell and he drives with a flourish and with superb timing and placement through wide men off for four. He's more, he's be Bell from the members end. Richardson gives himself room, drives in the air and just shimmy towards the leg side. He's found a gap wide of cover. It might roll into the fence. It's a long chase and it's not pulled back. Bell, two slips in a gully, drops short. So. Richardson rocks back. Oh, there was a bit of Caribbean flair in that shot. Freeman unfurls again. Going back is oh. Paris. He gets an outside edge. It skittles before. past Webster at slip and that is going to roll into the boundary. On his way up from the members end, outside the off stump. It's That's short right. and pulled. All the way along the carpet, Webster charges up again. This no. one's all popped up this time by Richardson. It got a bit close to the body. Freeman over the wicket. It's fuller, but outside off, and that width is all that Joe Richardson needs. Lovely cut shot. Gave himself room by stepping on. Webster, two slips in a gully. Richardson drives. Oh. oh, magnificent shot. There's a sweeper out at deep point, but he will not get it. Slips in a gully in place. As going right through Joel Paris is Webster. It's at 48. He faces Freeman, and he guides the ball away behind point. This will be his 50. Jai Richardson is going to pick up two down towards third man. A long chase for the fielder. There's been some important innings in this game from both teams, but perhaps none so more important than that for Jai Richardson. So the bat on the ground. Siddle running in, and he's edging Richardson and playing away from his body, caught in the gully. I think it's Ward in the gully. Siddle starting a new over That's and it. edging... Is Morris and he's caught at first slip by McDermott. Is Lance Morris caught by McDermott off the bowling of Peter Siddle for no score? Charges up again outside the off stump, but short and put away to the cover boundary for four. Pretty simple that for Caleb Julie moves to 15. Comes Kelly running in past the umpire and he's driving square of the wicket. This time is Jewel and he'll pick up a boundary as well. Yeah. Three slips in the gully, Paris up and playing square of the wicket. I think he looked to hit that a little bit straighter. Did Paris up, left arm over the wicket, short and on the back foot, pulling away to the boundary, all the way along the carpet for four, square to Jewel. Richardson in past the umpire, it's over pitch and it's hit square of the wicket, just forward of point for four. This retirement. Two slips in the gully, here comes the next delivery from Matt Kelly. It's over pitched and driven. Square of the wicket by Jewel. That'll nearly get there. And Darcy Short puts the chase in. He might have just knocked it back inside the rope. Darcy oh, Short, as he heard him. So that's his left shoulder, too. So being a left hander, that's a bit of a stinger there. Another good shot there from Jewel. And Morris passes the umpire, it's pulled, it's up in the air, there is a fielder down there, but it's going to go all the way into the chairs, so Ward waits, drives strongly through the covers, could be back-to-back -back boundaries here, it looks like it will, short, yep. now pulls up on his chase, and from Lance Morris, he's now, it's a potential nick down leg side, a great diving take from Philippi, and the umpire just nods his head, and Ward walks away, so we've gone 6-4, at the crease, it's a short ball, it's hit well, there's oh, a fielder out there, shot. so it's going to be caught, it is, yep. deep square leg, sits right underneath that, the plan was in place for the short ball, Wakem cutting yeah. high over the top of point, bit of width, bit of extra pace, no one out there, safe shot from Charlie Wakem gets...
Green up past the stumps now. It's short and wide outside the off stump, and McDermott throws the bat at it. Didn't time it to perfection, but he might still pick up a boundary here. Darcy Short's out there chasing again. Richardson, full and driven superbly by McDermott. He breaks the shackles in fine style on the rise through the covers. Pretty comfortable for the Tasmanians. Here's a reverse sweep this time from Charlie Wakem. It goes fine. That'll be a boundary. Reverse sweep from the members' end. On the way up and edging is McDermott and caught by Sean Marsh at first slip. Slip in place. That won't knock anyone over. Almost a snare at mid-wicket. It was... Past that man in a jiffy comes Green again. He delivers this time. Nicked and wide of second slip. And down to the boundary for four. Cartwright, the man with the golden arm in the first innings. Not here. That's a magnificent drive from Wakeham. Scorches the outfield as it rockets to the boundary for Cartwright. Forward to drive. Is Silk on the rise? Out through cover. He's got one. And he's coming back for the second. The throw is on its way. It's a good one. And he's run out. He's run out by a fair distance to Jordan Silk. He has burnt himself there. Harris, left arm around the wicket, on the drive in the air for a period from Webster. Whiteman dive to his left, low down to try and reel it in, but it beats him, and it's hit the point. They come on strike, Green bowls to him now, and he's on the cut. And it's over the top of the head of Gully. Green, right arm over the wicket, and this one's popped up and diving away in the gully on the left-hand side, trying to reel it in. Here comes Paris again, charges up. Around the wicket, Webster opens the face of the bat and glides it through. Two. Richardson from the printable stand in, right, and he's it. chopped it on. He's chopped it on, Charlie Wakeham. Four fielders out for Webster as he faces and That's steers it beautifully. Uses the pace of Richardson, one bounce, third man boundary for four. Pathetic. Five for 177, Paris Stry oh, uh, down the leg side. It glances, the paddle was their bat. It's as Paris bowls to Doran, and he ramps, and he's ramped this <laughs> fine. He's ramped it over the top of the keeper, the leg side. He's got four. <laughs> Listen, lovers of cricket, around the wicket here is uh, Paris. He strikes the paddings out. He's LBW. Webster's tried to clip it through the leg side. It was a, an appeal that went up straight away from all around the bat. Paris was almost celebrating rather than appealing. Bowling to Freeman again, and an outside edge. There's no third slip, and it goes for four. Well, Sean Marsh has got his hands on his hips. If he had a third slip, I reckon Freeman is on his way back to the change rooms. My yeah. regard is the tail. Morris up against short ball, and it's pulled away. Well, we'll go for four, that. In front of square, Freeman picks himself up a boundary. Here's Morris past the umpire, and it's uh, <laughs> went to get underneath it. Did Freeman, it's oh, come I off the bat. In from the printable stand end, right arm over the wicket, and he cuts and down towards third man. It's down his throat. <laughs> It's down Cameron Bancroft's throat. How about that? Third man takes a catch. Here's Morris. Right arm over the wicket. Siddle backs yeah. away and cracks it through the covers. And Tasmania will win the Shield game in a successful part of the trip. And it all goes all the way to the boundary rope. The Tigers have won by three wickets. Seven for 219. Siddle four. Freeman 21. And there'll be plenty of smiles all around in the Tasmanian camp. Defeating Western Australia by three wickets here, Wayne.